Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today we're taking a bus tour from Las Vegas to the west rim of the Grand Canyon. We're also going to take a stop at Hoover Dam to take some pictures. This is a bus tour, so I'm going to give you all the information you need in case you go. So we took this bus tour from Bally's Horseshoe in Las Vegas, and it was $370 for two people. We stopped for breakfast, which is included, and had some great views along the way. It's actually, the river water is what made Lake Mead back in the day. Now the Hoover Dam separated Lake Mead from the Colorado River. That's what dammed the river, because back in the day it was over flooding the river. The guide will give you some good information and there are some beautiful views. Now we're stopping at a photo area to take some photos of Hoover Dam first. We went to breakfast first and now we are going to the Hoover Dam area. As you can see, we stopped at this bridge. It's the Memorial Bridge Plaza. And at that plaza, you get a lot of information and you get to walk up a path where you can see the Hoover Dam. It's not a full Hoover Dam tour. It's just to take some great photos. The, the tour is mostly going to the west rim of the Grand Canyon. This is the path you're gonna take to find all the information and to get great views of Hoover Dam. This is from the top of that area. Looking down, there's the buses and, and some interesting views. But the best view is of the Hoover Dam which we will go. There's a lot of plaques and memorials and information that you get along the way. So that is quite interesting and it's quite a little walk. Our bus stop tour stopped for about 20 minutes, maybe a half an hour, giving us time to go up there, take the pictures and come back down because it's a long way. It's two and a half hours from here to Grand Canyon, although there are some interesting things to see along the way, you don't stop again. So this is like the the food and then you go here and you stop here. And then after that, you will take the tour to the Grand Canyon. So what we are seeing here is that we are walking, still trying to get to the Hoover Dam. And it does take a little while, but then you'll peek over the bridge and you will start to see it. So let's take a look of the Hoover Dam. Here is the dam in all its glory. And if you want, there are other bus tours that will take you for a more in-depth tour of the dam. Once you've seen Hoover Dam, you'll get back on the bus. The bus is very comfortable. There's a bathroom in the back. If you are taking this, you will enjoy the bus. The bus is a nice ride and the guide was very nice. So that was a very comfortable. The trip didn't seem to take that long because there's so many views to look at along the way. As you go around, you're gonna see how beautiful the mountains are and the different landscape. 
and the desert. Now, we went and it was cold. Uh, it was actually snowing. That was the Joshua tree, the first Joshua tree that he showed us. And then over here, this is the Joshua forest. And you can see how cold it is. There's usually not snow here, but we went in uh, February mid to late February and it was still cold and they had more snow than they usually have it. They don't typically have this much snow. Now, when you stop, you stop at this area. Um, we had to stop and take shuttles because of the snow and they didn't want the buses going up there. But we're gonna show you, there's a couple different areas that you will go to and absolutely beautiful. We've entered Grand Canyon and it's gorgeous. And there is a gift shop there where you can buy t-shirts and typical souvenirs. Now also, if you have to wait for the shuttle, it is quite a long line. If you don't, you will be stopped at Eagle Point and you could see the Eagle and just how beautiful this is. This is also where the Skywalk is. And we did pay, I believe $30 each extra to go to the Skywalk. Now I wanna tell you about the Skywalk. You can't take any photos the Skywalk at Eagle Point. You can't, they take photos, you can't bring any cameras, uh, only they are allowed to take pictures and it's, they cost you like 80 to 100, $150 to get copies of the photos. So I was very disappointed and I can't show you any of that. And it is a clear glass bottom bridge, but uh, you can't see that. And then after that, you will go to the second spot, which is absolutely gorgeous as well. So I'm gonna let you see some of the photos and photography that we took of this area. If you do take this tour, lunch is also included and you can have a pulled pork sandwich or a pulled chicken sandwich and you get a couple of sides and a drink. And it's right here at the Grand Canyon. You can sit and eat and watch the Grand Canyon. So that was very nice. I, the trip, I'm going to have to rate an A. The bus driver was very nice. We learned a lot about the area. I wish we had a, maybe another hour to spend here, but hey, you can't do everything. The money was worth it, 370 for two people. It's great. If you go to Las Vegas, I recommend that you take one day and go to the Grand Canyon on this bus tour. I don't think that you'll regret it, especially if you've never seen the Grand Canyon before. I wouldn't do the Skywalk tour again, but there is also a helicopter tour that's an additional cost that you can take. So this is Rockin' Robin. I hope you enjoyed our video. Please remember to watch, subscribe, and give us a big thumbs up and see all our videos on Las Vegas.